Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariella and my channel is Mariella's This and That. Um, today I was sitting and wondering what I was going to make for dinner and I thought and I thought and I thought and I said you know what I said I think I want some meatloaf. So tonight we are going to have meatloaf with a recipe that has been passed down from my grandmother to my mother to me. So let's get started. Okay, in this meatloaf, you're going to need... Now let me explain something. So it's going to sound like a lot, but what I do is because... I use the same meat, the same combination of ingredients to make my meatballs and my meatloaf and the stuffing for my stuffed bell peppers and for my cabbage rolls. I mix, it's all the same meat mixture. So what I do, if I'm going to mix up a meatloaf, I'm going to mix up enough to have for my meatballs and my other stuff and because I'd rather mix it all at once instead of every time I want some having to remix it, having to mix a new batch. So what I do is like tonight I want meatloaf so I'll go ahead and mix all this up and I'll make my meatloaf and then I'll roll out my meatballs and stuff, and I'll put them on cookie sheets, put them in the freezer until they freeze, and then I'll take them out, and I'll put them in freezer bags and put them back in the freezer. So that way when I want to have spaghetti and meatballs, all I got to do is take them out and cook them. That they're already made. I don't have to take the time to make them. So to make this, you need two pounds of hamburger and a pound of sausage. So what I do is take my hamburger and believe me, the price of food, you don't want to leave none left in the package. And then I put my sausage in the middle. Go lay down. Now. Go. There's nothing here for you. Go. And then I take my other pound of hamburger. And I put it on the other side of the sausage. Go lay down. Now to that, you want to move. I have one large onion diced, so I'm going to add that to my bowl.
Then we have two eggs. Go lay down. If it wasn't pouring down rain, your butt would be outside, boy. Then I got a teaspoon and a half of pepper, a tablespoon of salt, and a tablespoon of onion powder. And that's all the seasoning I put in my mixture. Then, <coughs> this is one sleeve of crackers, crushed. What I do is I open the sleeve of crackers and I put them in a Ziploc baggie and then I take the rolling pin and I just keep rolling. So now what you want to do is now you want to mix, but you don't want to over mix this because you don't want a tough meatloaf. Oh, by the way, if you're making meatloaf, you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And by putting hamburger on each side of the sausage, it makes it easier to mix the sausage in to the hamburger. Because you want it combined evenly. Now, if you want, like if you're going to make Italian meatballs, what you would do is be add, with the seasonings I added, go ahead and add garlic and Italian seasoning to it, and that would make your Italian meatballs. If you wanted some heat to it, you could add red pepper flakes or cayenne pepper. And that looks like it's pretty well mixed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pan. And I'm going to take me some. I'm going to shape it into a loaf. I'm going to put it in my pan. I don't own a loaf pan, so I use this one and just make it into a loaf.
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my meatloaf. I'm going to put it in the oven. In the metal rack. And we're going to bake it. I bake my meatloaf about an hour. And then I check on it. And I drain the grease off. And then when, after I drain the grease off of it, then I will top it with just plain ketchup. <coughs> um, then I'll bake it another half hour. Now with the rest of this meat, I have my cookie sheets all ready. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to sit here and stand here. And roll my meatballs. And I'm making these meatballs a little bigger because what I will do is when I go to the store and get a head of cabbage, then I will use these big meatballs to stuff my cabbage rolls. Whoa, that one's large. We need to break him down a little bit. He's a little too big. Okay, guys. I will bring you back when I'm done rolling my meatballs. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I want you to look. I got six big meatballs for my cabbage rolls. And then I made smaller meatballs for my stuffed bell peppers because I only buy the mini peppers. So I made smaller ones. And also for my spaghetti and meatballs because this is the size meatballs I like for it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these two cookie sheets and put them in my freezer and when they get frozen in a couple hours they'll be frozen and then what I'll do is I'll take them out and I'll put them in uh, freezer baggies and I'll write on them what they're used for okay I'll bring you back when I drain the meatloaf hi guys we're back it's been an hour I'm gonna take this out and drain it I'm really not liking the Smithville sausage. It is really, really greasy. Go lay down. And I always drain my grease off of anything in a glass jar because I don't want this down the drain to clog up the drains. Then we're going to top it with our ketchup.
I remember my mom used to buy that Heinz ketchup. They'd take forever to come out of the bottle. Okay, this goes back in the oven for a half hour, and then it'll be time to eat. So I will bring you guys back when we take it out of the oven. Okay, guys, the meatloaf is done, and this is what it looks like completed. And we will take... A bite in just a second. Ow, it's hot. Mm. Just like Mama used to make and Grandma. It's really good. So, remember, if you're going to take the time to mix up one meatloaf, <coughs> mix up enough that you can put it in the freezer and have it for a later date. So that way you don't have to mix it up. You just have to take it out. And you can either make the meatballs and the stuff like I did, or you can make several meatloaves. That's what my mom used to do. My mom used to mix it up and she would put her meatloaves in the, in, in the loaf pan and wrap them in foil and put them in the freezer. And then when she wanted meatloaf, instead of having to mix it all up, she would just take it out of the freezer, unthaw it, and then when she was ready to make dinner, she would throw it in the oven. So I wanna thank you all for coming and watching this video. And remember, give me a thumbs up Subscribe, ring the notification bell. The recipe will be in the description box below. It doesn't cost you nothing to give me a thumbs up or subscribe. And remember, don't let anybody steal your sunshine or take your smile. Have a good day. Bye-bye.